Okay, so here's another quickie that we're going to do really quick on these um, points here. And I forgot that this was in the actual tutorial, this whole wireframe mode. And then it tells you how to do wireframe mode. Okay, so this is on page 51 of 540 of the PDF. And okay, so first of all, looking at this, let's just go back to triangles. Okay, and we don't need the line width. Okay, so we're just going to draw triangles like that. And that's right, we only drew. Or wait, how come we didn't get both of them? What did I do? What did I do? Oh yeah, that's right. Because we want to draw elements, we don't want to draw arrays. So this is cool. Draw elements, GL. Okay, so there's that. So, if we switch it up here, in this case, we'll go GL polygon mode. Okay, so the first is the face mode, which you fill in with. Um, it's always GL front and back. Okay. Okay. And then if you want GL, it's GL line. the polygon mode. To draw your triangles in wireframe mode you can configure how OpenGL draws its primitives via polygon mode. Front and back GL line. So that's what we got. Okay. Same code only this time it draws it like that. So does actually let's look at line width. Does this change it? That'd be cool if it kind of did. Yeah. So that affects the line width, so it actually draws them as lines. So that's weird that it overrides how it's drawing it right here. So that's really weird, but that's cool. Okay. And then if you wanted to draw it, uh, the default is fill to put fill in there. And then you can also, there's, isn't there another, what does this say? Hold on. <clears throat> Uh, what the heck? Uh, this thing. Front face. Where was that? Front facing. Front face, back, point, line, or fill. So what's point? Hold on, let me put my glasses back on here to see. Uh, this. <laughs> Microphone. Okay. There we go. What am I doing? I don't know. GL point. So that's why the constant was, yeah, being funny on that other video. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. Starting to look over 3.3. Interesting. So then you also go GL point size. And then, of course, you got that. So that's really cool. You can flip it back and forth. And that covers all your geometry. That's like a default. It's like a default global setting, so that's pretty cool. Okay, just another quickie. Thanks for tuning in.